Bed 7 Sjenings video is vir prinsessies wat in bediening staan week 45. Ek het hierdie nies berig gesien dat Zuid-Afrika is nou in een healing mode met Cyril Ramaphosa. Mag ons ook dagelijks ook een goeie nies ontvang van en oor Zuid-Afrika. Mag ons die draars van hoop wees. Ons moet bloem where we are planted. Mag ons dagelijks die versamelaars wees van goeie nies oor ons prachtige land. Ek glo nog steeds hier is die land van melk en jening. Mag ons stoorkamers vol goeie nies versamel oor ons land. Everyone's growth looks different. Kijk hoe oulik is hierdie Instagram post. Maar God ons ook so dagelijks bewis maak van hierdie waarheid, dat ons allemaal sy groei lyk verskillend. Mag ons die groei in ander persoon en raak sien, en hulle komplementeer daarop. Every time you feel in God's creatures something pleasing and attractive, and do not let your attention be arrested by them alone, but passing them by, Transfer your thought to God and say, Oh my God, if thy creations are so full of beauty and delight and joy, how infinitely more full of beauty, delight and joy art thou thyself, creator of them all. Mag dit ons dagelijks gebed wees, wanneer ons iets sien wat vir ons mooi is, wat ons inspireer, mag ons het omdraai na gebed na God om te vraag, wees dan meer vir my van u. Maak my nog meer in awe-inspiring mode, omdat u die skepper is van dit alles. Hier is een quote van At Night Train to Lisbon. Have you ever been in love? So much so that even not food matters. Hoe mooi is dit, maar dit is my gebed en my wens vir ons elkeen. Maar God ons so aanraak, het ons so verlief raak op hom, dat nothing else matters. Ek het het al vluchtige oomlikke ervaar, daar die oomlikke wat ek net so verlief is op God. Ek voel al die thrills en gouwe oomlikke van om verlief te wees, maar daar is absoluut geen romantiese connectaties nie. Mag ons elke en sommer die hele jaar so verlief wees op God, net soos die mooie quote van I Night Train to Lisbon. Glow Getter Quote a driven busy girl who strives to achieve her goals in life while attaining a beautiful glow, both inside and out. Hierdie was vir my so'n mooie boodskap, wat iemand in 2018 vir my deurgesteer het. Ek geloo elke van ons wat deur is van die bed sê bespan, is ons eie unieke weergave van a glow getter. So mag God jou so dagelijks bewus maak en jou herinner dat jy is a glow getter. Net as wat Stefanus en Mooses geskyn het, so skyn ons ook al hoe meer en meer, hoe meer tyd ons in Godse teenwoordigheid spandeer. So mag God ook vir jou die geleentede skep om tyd in sy teenwoordigheid te spandeer. Mag hy dit romantisch, lekker, van tyds maak, net tussen jylle tweekies, so dat jy net elke dag van glorie tot glorie vernieuwe kan word in a glow getter. Ek het hierdie video gekry van een van ons century in spandeerde, en oor die pizza box, en dit is my so fenomenaal, maar God hierdie hierdie teaching op ons allemaal sy harte skryf, en mag jy geseende week hee. Can you imagine ordering a pizza, and the pizza guy showing up at your hotel room tonight, and he's got your pizza, but he doesn't have a box, he's just got it in his hand. And the cheese is oozing down all over his clothes and it's falling all over the floor. And you don't know where that hand has been. You don't know what he's been doing with that. Come on, somebody. And, and can you imagine, you know, the first question you would ask him if he was standing there saying, hi, did you order this pepperoni pizza? The first question you would ask is, where is the box? Because I was expecting the product to come in a vessel. I was expecting the product to come in a box. Well, what I want you to understand is this box is only worth 39 cents. It's not very valuable. It's just our, but it takes on a tremendous importance and value because of what is placed in it. I want you to understand 
the, listen to me. The box does not give value to the product. It's the product that gives value to the box. We're just the vessel and Christ is in us and we shouldn't get puffed up when God starts using us. We're just the 39 cent box. What I'm preaching to you is you don't have to be great. You don't have to be super good looking and look like a movie star. You don't have to be super talented, but you do have to be clean and you have to be empty. And if you'll just be clean and be empty, God says, if you'll give me a vessel, I'll give you a miracle. I'll give you my all. I'll give you my purpose. I'll give you my will for your life.